You know the saying, looks can be deceiving? Well, I was thinking last week when it seemed very bizarre that Tim Rossert um, ended up, you know, a seeming, seemingly healthy man with no previous cardiac indicators, um, just, just dropping dead uh, out of a cardiac event. And I couldn't help but think, wow, I wonder if he's got diabetes. You know, they never made a big deal of it, but uh, I did hear on one news broadcast that, in fact, he did. He had type 2 diabetes. And then my wheels kept turning, and I went back to that study earlier this year that was done that said, um, intensive treatment may not be the best thing for uh, many type 2s. Um, you know, trying too hard to fight the forces of nature that exist in a body could actually result in a catastrophic event. In fact, those that were intensively treated with type 2 diabetes, in fact, did have a higher rate of death due to cardiac events, heart, and uh, there were higher events of, of strokes as well. So I'm thinking to myself, what on earth is Novo Nordisk doing? They published a study that I consider to be quite flawed. It, I don't even think it had a control group where there was no treatment whatsoever, which, you know, could have in fact been, hey, you know, healthy lifestyle, exercise, which is, let me, let me summarize this study. Um, three groups of treatment, insulin pump, insulin injections, or oral meds. 382 patients um, that had some indicator that led their doctors to believe they needed to be treated. And, um, it just so happens that the incidence of diabetes one year later from the beginning of the event of the study uh, showed that I think it was almost 50 percent uh, of the insulin infusion, 40 percent of the insulin injections, and 20 percent of the oral meds. Something, some staggered event, but obviously the insulin in infusion, the pumps, had the least likelihood of. Um, recurrence of diabetes or what they refer to as remission of diabetes. Um, but to me, I, I really find this flawed because how do the doctors decide which group to assign each patient? Were there certain markers? I mean, in my opinion, those patients that were in remission a year later, I don't think they had diabetes at all. And there's nothing that's published in the, the study that, to my understanding, what's out in the Associated Press, that says uh, there were any form of insulin antibodies, islet cell antibodies, insulin autoantibodies. There was nothing, you know, that qualified them as having diabetes whatsoever. But the way the, you know, the publishing of and the wording of how the study came out, it really seems to be nothing more than another veneered study to encourage doctors to pick up a bigger group of diabetics this year, you know, keep business rolling. Um, these, these glossy campaigns do nothing to protect the health of people, and it seems as though, case in point, uh, I don't even know if Tim Russert was treated for his diabetes, and clearly, you know, we're not privy to his medical records, but I, I find it very curious that, you know, this stuff, this kind of stuff is happening more and more often, and I would... I would love to see it happen less and less often and um, be a, a little more safety for people with diabetes because insulin treatment is in no way, shape, or form um, a pacifying event. In fact, it's very, um, especially for parents with newly diagnosed type 1s, there's a lot of fear that comes along with the treatment and uncertainty that comes along with insulin analogs because your body has no idea what it's dealing with, which is why oftentimes people on analogs develop insulin resistance. Their receptors are shutting down. They're saying, what on earth is this? And as they're shutting down, they're doing everything they can to prevent the event of hypoglycemia. It's, uh, it's traumatic to the body, and the body does everything it can to protect itself. First and foremost, to protect its heart. First and foremost, second in line, to protect the head. You need to protect the vitally important organs, and uh, that's what it does. The body is very well designed, very well designed. But everybody, thanks for joining me. Please uh, share your comments, share your criticisms. 
share your love for Tim Russert. He's a great guy. He did amazing things. And uh, thanks for joining me, everybody. If you want to join again, come back to YouTube, subscribe, or go to Allie'sVoice.com and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody.